Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial video. Today I'm going to show you what to do whenever you have a, a video that is as, example, as big as this one, over 5 gigabytes. It's like crazy hell. No one wants to upload that to YouTube. It's, it takes lots of time even with a good internet. And yes, so the thing what we have to do is actually pretty simple. First you have to download a software called Handbrake because the software is compressing the file without really losing any quality. You can mess with the settings and I will show you in a sec. Actually, let's open the software, handbrake. And by the way, this is my dog in the background. <laughs> my lovely dog. I miss her a lot. I'm not at home right now, but soon I will be. Okay, so then you have to choose the file. This is the file, the video. File, click here. Desktop, video. Let it load. Okay, and here is the important stuff. We have to select the correct settings. So follow me and select what I'm selecting and I will tell you why. Web optimized, we need to select that one because it would be optimized for YouTube. You can even read, wait, what it says. Optimize MP4 for progressive download. After encoding, data is recognized and re rewritten to allow immediate playback over a network without needing to download the entire file. It's very good for YouTube. It makes the processing on YouTube uh, much slow much faster not much slower and it's a good thing to do whoopsie okay dimensions here you want to make sure that if you have something like this like in my case right now i have it you have you always want to make sure that here everything is zero if it's zero you don't need to click on custom i just mine was not zero here so i have to change it and make sure it's 1080p or whatever your uh, video was 1080p 720p i'm pretty sure 1080p nowadays everyone uses that one yes Okay, that's all for the dimensions. Video, now this is the important part. You have to make sure that here it should be same as source, so the frame rate is going to be the same as your recording. So as an example, in my case, it's 60 FPS, it says 59.94, but that's just what happens after I render with Sony Vegas or Vegas Pro. But this is pretty much 60 FPS and YouTube will consider it as 60 FPS, so that's fine. Same as source, variable frame rate. Now here, constant quality. This is the pretty important thing. Usually I would select something like 25. It's pretty fine. It's fine. Yes. But if you have a dark video, as an example, it's night in the game or just a horror game. It's just dark. Let's say like that. I would think and consider putting it like 20. Now, the more you put it here to the place book quality or whatever you want to call it thing, then the higher the file size and the less it will compress the video pretty much. So 20. It will still be pretty good, like the quality it should be pretty much the same. You won't see any difference with your eyes, like I really doubt you will see a difference with 20. And 25 you will only see a difference if it's like a really dark video, but even then it's very hard to notice a difference and it would be even lower file size. So usually I select 25 whenever it's a bright video, even now I can, but I won't put it on 20 for this video because it was pretty dark video, as you can see it's pretty much only night in that game, cube world. Okay, so I'll put it to 20. And here, encoder preset. If your processor is not the best, pretty old maybe, then keep it on fast. But if you have a processor that is as good as mine, well, mine is pretty old, so it's like i5, 4, 6, 9, 0, K. Okay. It's like pretty old processor, but it's very good for gaming. But it should be fine, so I can put it on medium. And the slower you put it here, the better the quality is going to be. Also, it might take a bit longer, but with medium and fast, I didn't notice such a big difference with kind of like the speed of the encoding. So just put it on medium or fast if your processor is not the best, but medium is better quality. Encoder profile, this set need to be set to auto, encoder level also auto. And yes, this is all the settings here actually. Now audio, this is also a pretty important tab. Depends on your audio. Now my audio should be, oops, not that one, it's this one. Properties, details. The video, as you can see, has audio, the bitrate is 157, which means that anything higher than 160 is probably going to be pretty much useless for me. So I'm going to keep it at 160, but depends on your audio and what you usually use. It might be even 300 and something. So pretty much just select the audio that you want it to be, unless you want to compress the audio as well and make the... You won't really notice the difference in my opinion, but mine is 157. I'm going to keep it at 160. After you're done with that, you can click on Browse. Save it somewhere on your desktop, perhaps here, and you can call it, I will call it Cube World, click save, and then you can click start encode. Okay, so once it's finished encoding, you can see it says Q finished, 
and now we can see our file it's here cube world compared to the video so yes you can see let's check 860 megabytes instead of 5 point something gigabyte so that's a huge decrease and if i would have chose something like 22 or 25 like i said in the constant quality it could have been something like 300 to 400 even much much less and you wouldn't even really notice the quality difference so what i'd say is if you want in a way you don't really want to start messing with the content quality just put it on the default 22 but if you do want even lower file size put it on 25 and in dark places or games it might look a bit less like the quality might look a bit worse but nothing bad um as an example all of my banished videos are made with 25 and it looks just fine you can go check it out and yeah okay so this is a tutorial if you enjoyed this video and you want to watch some more videos like this of me helping you out with some youtube stuff editing stuff editing settings and stuff like that tell me subscribe to the channel like the video and tell me out in the, in the comments below and if i've helped you well i'm happy <laughs> so thank you for watching and goodbye